Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. Um, so, in the previous episode, I had done a mission which was freeing this animal, um, Lingbark. That's its name. I don't know what. I mean, it's a mythical creature. So yeah, and then after that, I had free time on me. I tried to get as many things as possible in this area, and I'm 51% completed. There isn't much to do now, so let's progress with the game. And before ending the main mission in the previous episode, we had an option. Either we continue our journey, and I think we will travel to Alfheim. Yeah. Or we could just go and do a quest, which is available in Niflheim. So I think I'm going to go in this one, Niflheim, because this is a new realm to us from what i remember there wasn't any nippelheim in the previous game right the mayor. i hope so i know this sounds weird but can you tell me again what happens when someone dies every living thing has a soul and every soul has four parts form mind direction and luck direction steers the souls of giants dwarves elves and animals toward the lake of souls in alfheim when all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way. Okay. Imagine if there's a quest that we play as a trace and we go and retrieve the fourth part of Brock's soul. That would be something. The Raven Tree, yo. Do we have to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. I mean, you're a dwarf. You could just travel between realms, right? That's something you do. What's this? Seems like a boss arena, if you ask me. Um, but something that might require higher levels, so I ain't looking forward to There's that. Something over here. A memory of war. Oh. You could use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. No way. So I think this will just give me amazing loot. Or, I don't know, gear. It has to, right? Okay, anyways, right now I'm going to do this favor. So it is, find the second boost fill. I'm seed. Close the drawer holes, which I'm trying, and kill Odin, or travel to Niflheim. So I'm doing this currently. We have received a travel seed that will take us to Niflheim. We can explore the area when we're ready. Track. So this is the one that I'm doing currently. Yeah? And it's going to get activated over there. I'm going to check that out later. Let's go and activate this quest Wait, first. Are those Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. This is really creeping me out. Okay. So, what is it going to be? A gift of life, a gift in death, to the mother forever, the all-father's breath. I thought, I can't read them. They seem to like us, though. One hopes. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. Oh, so I'm assuming that the amount of ravens you kill would... Yeah. Oh, come on. I mean, if I had known... Okay, ravens required. I need to kill three more to get this. Okay, so that's this quest. I wonder if I kill a raven. And would it appear somewhere over there? Like, that would be a nice touch. A minor detail no one would notice, but it would be cool. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get this area unlocked. Anyways, well, I thought there would be a big mission over here, but it seems so, no. So that's the only thing. 
Um, let's try this out and then we can continue with our main quest. So let's see how this is going to work out. Draugr training, the sparring arena allows you to test and hone your skills in combat. You have infinite health and access to ammo. Note there is no XP or hard silver gained in this arena. Um, okay, let's see this for once. What's going to happen? Let's see. I mean, I could push whenever I want, right? Okay. Uh -huh. So, yeah. I'm done. That was just 10 minutes of me sparring, I guess. Okay, let's continue with the main mission. That wasn't bad. That was good. Okay, let's go in armor. Yeah, I just, I remember that we had. That looks good, you know, on a dress, but... Even that looks good, but you know what, let's... I mean, they don't really do anything, right? I don't know, let's see, waste armor and get this. This will get defense and luck, but minus on that. Can I get this upgraded in this over here? You let's got see. some slag from the homeland, huh? Hand it over, I'll fix you up some. Okay, so that requires draw and steel. Never mind. Wait, feels like there was something else. Yeah, I'm going back. Let's see. And let's go do this. Yes, confirm. Mimir. You were talking about how Fenrir's soul is headed for the Light of Alphonse. But that's because he was a wolf, right? Aye. Were he a god or a human who died in battle, a Valkyrie would have taken him to Valhalla or Folk Vomit. Had he been a human or god who died outside of battle, he'd be cast down to Helheim. But Fenrir was a wolf, so his soul will join all the others in Alfheim. Like mothers. Yes. Like your mothers. There you are. I knew you hadn't forgotten me. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Go on, what's it? What is it? Here. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? Very well. A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Well, I have a question. Any que Splendid. I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are lean worms, the brood of Nepo. Nepo? That's the mother? Correct. We are off. I'm not upset. I hear something over here. Now it's that. An Odin's Raven? I don't know. Let's continue. I've wasted enough time as it is. And travel to Alpha. Let's do it. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, the Light Elves came back. We seemed better in Alfheim. <laughs> Did they now? Grow a secret. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Grow a shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. Let's see this. Broken history. 
graffiti in dark elf territory next to a statue of their ancestors, the elves before the division of light and dark, the message being what exactly and for who either the elves have seen the statue and ignored it, or they are more concerned with mastery over the light. Uh -huh. Let's see this, there isn't anything else that I could collect. And wait a minute, let me, that's irritating me, go to goals, but I mean, not fast favors, and where is it? I afford an untrack. Yeah. And now continue. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Can I not go down there? Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble. A living desert. Huh? The living desert, the jewel of Alfheim, is, is our most sacred and fertile desert, teeming. Um, teeming or teeming with an unequal diversity of life from the majestic Hafgufa and their dulcet song of the sands to the wide array of turtles and lizards found in the um, Jarta and the abundant herds of gazelle and ibex roaming the shifting dunes. All creatures of the desert are given breath, are given breath, breathe by the grace of the light. Take a moment to witness the grandeur and reflect Keep well thy realm. Okay. And nice. What do we get? Slag. It seems that's like the most common thing you can get in this game. Um let's continue. Okay. And go through here. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. Um, maybe a dragon or something? I don't know. Lots of it forward. And this is the way it's down. And what I do see you in hear? chest. Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the dark elves get on best they can. <laughs> Okay, that's the first one. Do I break this? Um, to get one, to get two, and can I go through here? Clearly not. Well, there's one more, but where is it? Um, has to be hidden somewhere. I mean, no shit. Um, let's see. Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. Okay, there it is. No, but from above, really? Okay, let's go on. How from above and from where from above? Like, from here above? Because I ain't even without getting that brazier done. So let me know from where from above. Um, how? From here? Um... Okay, I see now. I see, I see, I see. So it's a big loop. We go up here, and then we go through here, to here, to there, the Temple of Light. Grua's there. shrine is at the top. Okay. And I'll be back. Good eye. First, I need this. eyes. Is everything okay? Hi, yes. old man. Just looting on your chest. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. <laughs> uh, of course I do. Ah, very well. Okay, let's continue back. And... Okay, I thought you were shooting at something. Clearly not. Okay, let's continue. I've looted well. And... Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm to... <laughs> Wait. Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. So Freya has a brother. Wait, I hear something. 
Yeah, you. Now I know that you're special. Okay, need two more. Surely I can get two more. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. That's oh, something new. I didn't know it could do that. Oh, nice. So let's see. And I think there's definitely something here. Oh, that's a cool effect. Although, what's the use of it? Because there isn't anything. I need to know, is there like a specific way? What if there's a Odin's room or something? Hidden in there. It would be helpful. But, I guess not. Okay, let's continue. Um, I hate you guys. Really. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, okay. Didn't know that was a thing. And I guess we climb through here. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Okay, there he is. Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. We don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Well, if you don't have a choice, I am more than happy to ruin you. Yeah? Okay, Where's light the elves. Freed the light? Yeah, that's true, you know. Um, I won. Okay, so that's how you break guards. Nice. Needed to know that. Nice. Okay. Alright. Uh, nice. you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. Okay. Hard three. Ooh. Yeah, nicely done. Good. Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. I hear a raven. I really did. I'ma go back. I'ma go back. Because now I know that ravens are truly important in this game. Pay attention. Okay. Which side are you, raven? Because you are truly important to me. That's going to suck. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to waste a lot of time in just searching for ravens from now on. You know what's good? I see, I see, I don't see, I don't see. I'll come back later. I can always. Did I just see it? <laughs> I know I'm wasting way too much time on it. I mean, how can you not, right? Okay, let's continue. At least it's at starting of this area, so... Even if I could always find it while leaving. So, yeah. Let's continue, let's continue. Not wasting time. Let's continue. Another one of these chests. Tribute to Freya, made by the elves. He must oh. have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freya. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Well, I can't get that for now. I'm really confused. How does it work? And how does that work? There's a lot in this game. There's, okay, well, I see one and I see two already, which is a good sign. Okay, 
Uh, let me, and there's a third one. So if I ever have to, I can come back always. And uh, let's continue. So tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. Okay, let's pull this. Why can't I? I'll go okay, first. Okay. Let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its feet. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, it's here. You keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Really smart, Shall man. We? Yeah. Let's open this. That was really smart. What's a dark elf statue doing in the light temple? That's temple just how they looked before the division. The division? Yes. The elves weren't always split between light and dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Solid light. Yes, some things don't change. Okay, how am I supposed to open this by throwing it like that? Here, they usually work. I mean, you don't have your light arrows anymore. There's a light crystal. Yeah, I know. I noticed that. Yes, I see now. Okay. The twilight stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. Wait, but I need to see which way is forward, because. Okay, so we did come in. So that was the way forward. Never mind, never mind. And now... What's that oh. sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Whoa. It's the light! Ah. Ow. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well... That's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. <laughs> Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Yo. Hey. So where is it? <laughs> Mm -hmm. How am I supposed to get this up there? Does that make sense? Well done. Though I imagine our light elf friends will be less than pleased. Well, who gives a damn about them now? Like, let's truly be honest. And open this. Okay, going through here. Speaking of light elves, yeah. let me try talking to them again. They Thanks may just to let these two do their thing, brother. What? I was waiting for him to talk. Never mind. Uh -huh. Okay. I see. Nice. Oh, 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 okay. Nice. Nice. Nice, you done. Oh, boy. I'm gonna freeze you and now go for this. This should be smart. Um, get closer to you. That one's already done. 
Yeah, you can't dodge that, now can you? RG, and boom. Nice to die. That was good. What else is there to do in this area? Here. They came across on light bridges. But now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. The shrine awaits. Nice. Let me check for supplies. Nothing. Let's continue. Is this something important? Let's see. No, it isn't. Okay. Nonetheless. This is here like Spider-Man. Nice. And we head back here because there are all the secrets. I'm gonna check that. Where are you going? Just looking around. He does it sometimes. Ah, a curious mind. Yeah. Carry on. <laughs> okay, that is the developers. Just talking smart. Well, not talking smart, but you know what I'm trying to say. Talking goodies about me. So different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more. Dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. Yeah, exactly. Nice way of telling the game that you have a the shrine is this way, Yeah, he knows. Enemies. Like oh, didn't see that. By all means. Okay, there's a lot over here. These things Under one of his poems? No. It's a scroll. Okay, didn't know there were more. Okay. Please do the last. Oh, well, a chair's got hit. <laughs> Anything interesting this way? The new scroll, the bike, frost bridge. Damn, that's a lot. That's a lot. Uh, oh, wait. I just realized there's. I haven't read all of them completely because there's still a lot. Didn't know you could scroll. I just realized that you could now. Okay, I know it's not uncommon to hear the voices of those we have lost in the light, so I decided to run one little experiment. With the permission of the temple's guardian, of course, I was missing my beloved, Atriskur, um, something terrible, and thought perhaps if I could hear him one last time, I'd feel more at peace. I packed up, I packed up some of his favorite things, his blanket, the stuffed tassel worm, and enchanted to squeak when squeak when squeezed uh, and an old drake bone with the teeth marks still imprinted and set them down near the light to see if i could perhaps call to his soul i sat quietly for quite some time i called to him it was very difficult to confirm but after a while i swear i could hear the distinct sound of his paws on woods gently clicking from his nails just the way they used to sound at home Things were close and my heart beat faster in anticipation, but as soon as the sound started, they faded and I heard no more. Perhaps I will try again one day, but for now I will choose to believe he has found joy in the light and needs the comfort of his old friend, of his old life no more. I'm glad for him. Okay, that was a lot. And come down. Please, no more fighting. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. And I open this. So then I have a curious mind. And that's about to be huh. it. Light rune. Let's see. So what does this do? And that's Sage. Flame of Anguish. Launching him. I think that's more helpful because you could somehow you can get two people at once. Although a forceful stab him. Fire bomb which detonates after a beef trailer. Oh wait, yeah, I'm getting that 110%. And should I upgrade that? Three more press R1 to inflict three more stabs embedding a series of bombs. Um I'll stick on that for now. Plus there's one more thing. You can also upgrade your spot rage, which I'm gonna do right about now. Why not? Okay, so I think I'm gonna end, end the episode right here. It's a good place. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see all you dudes in the next one.